Chicago. This is CBS 2 News at 5. A lot of people didn't expect to see this today. Students in Chicago leaving school after a last-minute contract deal keeps teachers and 380,000 kids in class. Good afternoon. I'm Erica Sargent. Rob is on assignment. CBS 2's Dorothy Tucker takes a closer look at that agreement and the winners and losers. I'm happy to report that Chicago Public Schools and Chicago teachers reached a contract agreement. Forrest Claypool, CEO of the Chicago Public Schools. That we are open for business tomorrow. Karen Lewis, president of the Teachers Union. It wasn't easy. It took 18 months for all three players to reach a tentative agreement, and according to labor expert Bob Bruno, everyone walks away with a win and a loss. What is the biggest win for the teachers? Being able to use the collective bargaining process to access TIF funds. That's a win for teachers because TIF funds, short for tax increment funding, is money that is typically used for city projects or private investments. But $88 million will now help fund the teacher's new contract. And a mayor for 18 months who said, we're not going for TIFs, we're not looking for any additional money, we got to play with the, with, with the toys that we have, <clears throat> um, all of a sudden was compelled. A loss for teachers? Health insurance. They must now contribute more money. As for the board, their win? No major increase in staff. Counselors, librarians, uh, that was something that they were resolutely opposed to, claiming that there wasn't funding. However, a loss for the school board could be the $7 million they've agreed to earmark for teachers' assistance in K through second grade classes. Bruno says both sides win on the pension issue. The board agrees to give new hires a pay raise for a couple of years, but from now on, all new teachers will pay 7% toward their pension. But the board continues to pay the 7% for current teachers. That's a really nice balancing act. As for the mayor, Bruno says his major win, no teacher's strike like the one in 2012. His loss, having to divert TIF money to the teachers. I don't think we've heard the last about using TIFs for public schools. So the mayor may have opened up a Pandora's box. Of course, the biggest winners are the students who get to remain in school. The tentative agreement must now be ratified by the 25,000 union members. The union's House of Delegates is expected to meet later this week and recommend members accept the contract. Reporting live from the newsroom, Dorothy Tucker, CBS 2 News. Erica? Okay, Dorothy, thank you.